Brooks with a career spanning almost five decades. Shaka Khan not only has the talent and longevity that other artists would kill for, she also probably has a fair amount of tea to spill. So here's what, Shaka, I have some questions for mm, you. Okay. okay, first of all, I want to talk to you about Prince a little bit. You first collaborated with him in 1984. Later, he co-produced and wrote many of your songs on your 88 album, Come to My House. You stated that you were like brother and sister. Yeah. Um, what is something about Prince that would surprise us or that we wouldn't know or think about him? I don't know if it showed, but he was a, 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 he was a, he was a lonely person. He was a lonely yeah. person. He was, he was lonely. Did you talk a lot in the last years of his life? Were you two in touch a lot? And Well, in the last year or so, no. No. We weren't. Um, and, and I was surprised that there was anything. I knew, you know, he broke his knees and broke his ankles and right. carrying on. You know, right. We were on tour together when that happened. Yeah. Uh, I just was not aware that there was anything else going on. And that's right. like hard for me not to detect. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I want to talk about Whitney. She um, no, most notably covered your song, I'm Every Woman in 92 for uh, The Bodyguard. When, when that happened, were you happy she was covering it? Was there, what were your emotions about oh, that? Oh, uh, look, I have, look, a song is a free agent. Uh huh. If you can, if you can rock the song, rock it. Mm. Did you, if you make can't, point? You need to leave of... it alone. <laughs> did, you, did you make coin when she covered that song? Did you make any coin off of it? No, I made. I made only coin on production, on vocal production, because I did not write the song. Uh, Simpson and Ashford wrote the song. Right, right, right. And I did make coin, and Mary J. Blige did a uh, uh, sweet thing. Oh, good. Because I wrote that song. Okay, good. <laughs> um, back to Aretha. I, I want to say, um, you two were notably really close friends, but yeah. you say she didn't have a lot of people that were in her inner circle no. that she liked. What was it about her? Did she was she not a people person, or how would you describe? She didn't have time for all that. <laughs> she did not. <laughs> she yeah. seemed like she did. Some people she did. Right. Yeah. You know, some people just don't have. Just... <laughs> I'm not trying out here trying to make new friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you are currently working on a Joni Mitchell cover album. I've been working on one for over a year. We're still working on it. Now I got Joni involved. I know, and she's a she's good buddy of yours, yeah, we're right? We're good buddies, and, and uh, we've been going to dinner and, and carrying on, and go, she go to my house, I'll come to her house. Really? We talk about all sorts of do. We had a jam session. Uh, a couple of weeks, three weeks ago at her house, where she flew some guys in from Ireland that had been jamming. Wow. Like, we're doing stuff like that. So, like, girl, come on, let's do work on this stuff. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get really, I, I know she should hear her voice now. Wow. It's just beautiful. Really? It's unbelievably wow. beautiful. You can hear the life, her journey. I love, now. that makes me very excited. Thank you very much. Yeah.